I think largely because I'd been talking it up for six months prior. And every single friend that anyone I'd bumped into had come in to see this life-changing stout that I'd been going on about. Genuinely, I do taste, I taste an awful lot of beer and wines and spirits and various different products and that's the, the, the terrible job I have. But every now and again something makes the hair on the back of my head stand up and this was it. Tom took me out to uh, Cork and we stood in the Franciscan Well Brewery and it was the first place they took us to at the beginning of the night. Now for any of you who have been on brewery trips or trips to different uh, cities, they tend to take you on a whistle stop tour and try and get in as many places as you possibly can. This was the first thing in the first place we'd been. So I tasted it and literally the hairs on the back of my head went up. And before I could even finish my pint, they were dragging me out of the damn place to bugger off to Christ knows how many other places it got, which was great. But the whole night, all I spent thinking about was, was that as good as I thought it was? Needless to say, there was a lot of beer consumed that night. Some of them ended up in Abracababra, <laughs> not me. Um, and the following morning we got up, Tom came and we met up at breakfast and said, what do you want to do today? I said, I want to go back to that brewery and see whether or not that stout is as good as I've been dreaming about all night, because if it is, this is something really special. Unbeknown to me, this was gold medal winner, best stout, European stout. I didn't know that at the time. Went back in, knocked on his door at 11 o'clock in the morning, the brewery doors. He got up a bit close. And sure enough, Shane opens up and goes, Hey, George, you'll be wanting to pint then. <laughs> Terrible accent, sure. I said, look, I'm not here just because we're Scots and we want a baby. I genuinely need to see whether or not this is as good as I thought it was when I tasted that at the beginning of the night last night, drank about it all night. Went back in, sure enough, this was as good as I thought it was. And I genuinely believe that what those guys do, having been back again this year, has got better again. You were talking about how they communicate. By God, they've not, you know, like the Japanese, they've not taken long to figure out how best to do that. They've now got a tasting room, but delivered in that way, and just surrounding you in the product. They make fantastic beer. I mean, really, really fantastic beer, and I think that is their crowning achievement. Although I do have a bottle of stout aged in uh, whiskey casks, which, uh, I'm not allowed to open as yet, which is a gift from Shane. So, here's to you. <laughs>